Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NYYNews.com again. And I was thinking to myself, the Baltimore Orioles might just have a chance in getting Patrick Corbin and Sonny Gray. Yes, it sounds far-fetched. But you're talking or hearing the man that suggested back in July that John Carl Stanton would be a Yankee. Wrote it in detail. People called me crazy, etc. But whatever. You know, I take high risk. So analyzing everything, reading uh, numerous websites, the Baltimore Orioles, with the prospects and a potential Manny Machado trade, can offer those same prospects, including theirs, high-end, to the Diamondbacks, who they've been talking with already inquiring about Patrick Corbin the Diamondbacks literally would get offered the best package they've been offered this offseason with the top end prospects that will come from New York that will come from Baltimore so like I've been saying the Yankees if a deal is made with the Orioles I know I'm talking a lot about the Orioles if a deal is done with them, instead of shipping off, let's say, a Jordan Montgomery with a Chance Adams, I think the O's will settle with a Sonny Gray and some prospects and a closer. Now, the Orioles are obviously interested in starting pitching. Obviously, they'll keep Sonny Gray, but they'll use... Those prospects in a three-way deal with the Diamondbacks, with the Yankees, and the Orioles, there's a high possibility that they can obtain a Patrick Corbin. Literally, the Orioles already offered the Diamondbacks a deal. Imagine adding the prospects they would get from a Yankees deal. So as I look at this, it starts to make even more sense to me that the Yankees, the Diamondbacks, and the O's would make a three-way deal. Yankees get rid of Ellsbury. They might not even have to pay that much of his remaining contract if the O's know that they're getting a Patrick Corbin. The Yankees might end up paying like 50% of his remaining contract. The O's would, obviously, we all thought that the O's would deplete their team by getting rid of a Manny Machado. But now that I think of it, the Orioles can become a big threat with the potential starting pitching that they can obtain via trades. I know Corbin becomes a free agent in 2019, but teams have been inquiring about him. And if you're the O's, you got to be excited yet again making a deal with the Yankees. So this has been Felix from NYYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.